February 27, 2021, Bloomington, Indiana, USA, Indiana Hoosiers guard Rob Finese, 10, dribbles the ball while Michigan Wolverines guard Mike Smith, 12, defends in the second half at Simon Skiot Assembly Hall. Mandatory credit, Trevor Rishkovsky USA Today Sports Despite the quick layoff from Thursday night's convincing conquering of Iowa, it didn't impact the Wolverines in their latest trouncing of Indiana. It was much of the same old story for Michigan basketball in its early afternoon triumph of the Hoosiers in Bloomington on Saturday. The Wolverines were physically and mentally ready for what Indiana had to throw at them from the tip. Having just a day off in between these last two games didn't bother the maze and blew into making any excuses for the situation they found themselves in just before the most decisive month on the basketball calendar. The work that they put in on the boards was quite evident throughout the day. Their defense in general was pinpoint accurate as usual in determining how they fared on Indiana's end of the court. In all, they managed to grab 28 defensive rebounds that sparked them all over the hardwood in the win. Isaiah Livers had the most rebounds overall and it dictated his workload that resulted in a double-double for his efforts. Michigan's defense only allowed 24 points in the second half which is a loud statement as to why this group is so equipped on that side of the floor. The Wolverines didn't let Trace Jackson Davis get going at all. He averages 20 per contest and only earned a quiet 10 points on senior day in Assembly Hall. Indiana had no way of slowing down Michigan once it found its footing and opened the floodgates. The Hoosiers shot 26% from deep and never made a serious threat to stay close once Michigan basketball got rolling in the first half. It's Michigan's seventh consecutive victory since that lone loss at Minnesota last month. It strengthens the Wolverines' resume as a number one seed and the buzz is growing as to what they can do when the sudden death tournament kicks off in a couple of weeks. Franz Wagner did his job as he has been doing so much as of late. He piloted the Wolverines in scoring and went a perfect 100% from the charity stripe. Mike Smith continued to showcase his wizardry with the ball in his hands as well. To say that he is a godsend to take the reins from Xavier Simpson becomes more and more of an understatement every time he laces up his sneakers. Michigan will wrap up the regular season with three consequential showdowns next week. They get to host Illinois in another Final Four type of battle, followed by a home and home with hated Michigan State who is peaking right on time under Tom Izzo. Winning out is not impossible, but it will take more of the same from the way this special unit continues to show to the viewing audiences.